Alrighty, so it's an implementation that uh, Bruno and I actually did for one of our customers. And the goal of this implementation is basically to de-anonymize web visitors in Sales IQ um, via CRM email clicks. And so this is kind of a common thing that we find when we are helping people get on board with Sales IQ is that it provides a ton of amazing data, right? You can know that visitor one, two, three, four, five went to this page for five minutes and then clicked over here and then looked at this product, you know, and then came back a week later. Um, but the big challenge that a lot of people have is essentially connecting the dots between visitor one, two, three, four, five and Tyler Colt, who's in my CRM as a lead or a contact. And so essentially what we did here and, and from a technical perspective, this is not a very tricky implementation. There's actually some pre-built tools that allow you to do this within Zoho. Um, but I wanted to highlight it anyways, because a lot of people just don't know that this is here. And so what we did is essentially put in some URL parameters into every single link in every single CRM email template, right? So like when that new lead comes in the front door and they receive that first email that says, you know, thanks for getting in touch, you know, please click here if you want to check out our resource library, right? Well, in that link, there are some little identifiers so that when the lead clicks through, we now connect the dots between that CRM lead and that sales IQ visitor. This allows you to do things like visitor scoring, right? So if you have any type of like outbound prospecting that you're doing, it's super useful for your sales reps to be able to prioritize certain leads based on their engagement, whether that's engagement clicking an email or engagement provided by sales IQ in terms of visitor scoring and web engagement, which is normally kind of tricky to manage natively just in CRM. And so this is one of those things where it's going to take some time, right? Because until one of those leads clicks on a link, you're not going to have them de-anonymized. The only other way would be if they chatted and provided an email address, but not everybody is using Sales IQ for that chat feature. So again, this is one of those things where like early on when you're building out your CRM, if Sales IQ is going to be a part of the equation for you, get in the habit of including these URL parameters and they'll actually give you an easy way to do it in the email templates when you add a link. Um, because in the long term, really like though, from a technical implementation standpoint, this isn't a crazy big lift or anything super complicated. You know, sometimes the things I share that Bruno built to require insane SQL tables, right? This isn't one of those things. This is one where if you're listening to this, you could probably do this for yourself in your CRM. Um, but it's just going to generate a huge amount of useful data for you um, as people are clicking through and engaging on your website. That's nice because, you know, and I think the past, the only way to de-anonymize this was for a person to actually engage with you on chat, right? Yep. So this exactly. is uh, huge. Very, very nice. Good job, Tyler. Oh, th we're giving everybody credit now. Consultants and developers. This is our first time doing that. So uh, good job, Tyler and Bruno.